All right, so I just woke up early this morning. Um, shit, I still got a lot of shit I gotta do on my site now. I'm gonna get it, go ahead and get out of my car, but man, I had an astral projection experience last night. There's no way around it. That was an astral projection experience, and it's finally about time. And I had it on uh, command, aka demand as well. In the first astral projection experience, I went to the astral version of New York City, in which. Um, A banana. Anyways, I went to the astro version of New York, um, which seems to have a hold on my heart. Where I saw like two giant cats that tried to attack me, but there was this nice little cat, but I felt like the small cat was deceptive, and I kind of took it under its wing. Then I ended up back in the astro version of New Orleans, where you know I visited with my family, saw my family again, and all of that. And then I had another one that was extremely, I mean. I, I don't believe that this, I mean, when you go to the same place, that's, that's not no lucid dreaming or, because I can tell beings who are under a spell to cause them to be in that dreamlike state in the astral. Um, I was in the astral version of Malibu where I went to, um, it kind of reminded me of this, uh, it had this racist ass waitress too, she didn't look like she was full white, she looked like she was Brazilian or something. Um, the astral version of this cafe in Malibu though where um, they didn't want my ass you know around and I fought one of the waitresses and I defeated her and so people came around to like me with that same long story short um, she I kept hearing this sound of you know something kept coming over my mind saying that I'm payment for what they did to my Therese Richardson, and that's where I just saw, out the corner of my eye, something walking across the street like a person or something, because I have that ability. I've been doing a lot of energy work on myself as well, so I can, you know, really start to, you know, burn away whatever and the fuck has been holding me back. I also saw some very interesting visions with um, Patty LaBelle as well. Now, I don't want to sound like no fucking crazy person, who um, is obsessed with a celebrity thinking that, oh, they're doing some shit from a mile away. I remember, and this lady is like a North type motherfucker. There was this woman, black lady, I forgot her name, and a bunch of celebrities talked about, I mean, some, not celebrities, but a bunch of YouTube folks have actually, psychics that is rather, have talked about this as well, being visited by celebrities in the astral. I'm trying to think of this woman's name, but, um, she has like this real North name. It's an older black lady. She all the way up there in the Midwest somewhere. I think Kansas or something. And she was talking about how she got visited by Rihanna in the Astro. And they were attempting to recruit her and have her work with them as a witch and all of that shit. And that's really how people get put on. They start in the Astro with us spiritual people. Anyways, I know yesterday, my team, yesterday I was talking about Patty LaBelle. And seeing her in my visions fucking with me and stealing my blessings and all of that. Same thing with the Migos. I had a vision. In which, um, and this is without astral projecting, none of that. Where I saw that she had an altar set up. It looked real satanic. See, people don't realize it, but a lot of these people come up from doing... Saturnian satanic ass shit it, it don't be on no north shit like you know people try to play like that girl who was, who was on that uh, show power and all of that she came up you know organically oh, she only had $300 in the pocket she came out here uh, that, that pretty girl and I think she claimed that she was from New Orleans but she ain't really from no fucking New Orleans and um, that shit don't be happening like that they do rituals and that's something that these north motherfuckers don't understand and they keep you on that wheel of suspension and desire for wealth by convincing you that oh you can come up organically like these people as well come from out of nowhere come from piss pothole ass kansas with three hundred dollars in your pocket nah bitch you're gonna have to do some rituals you do rituals to get up there i, I mean even to that little point there where, where you, you getting on the show itself you do rituals and then when you get higher like i saw with patty labelle you do the deeper shit now what i saw with patty labelle is she do some satanic shit some real dirty, nasty ass shit. 
and I saw, and it's funny too because in the astro, I don't know if it was her attempt to try to create an avatar for herself, but maybe this is her true self, her soul. But when I saw, because you know, in, in in the fifth dimension, you you're all that you ever were. When I saw her there, she at one point looked like a poor black woman, and and I got that sense as well. So I don't know if that was an avatar she was trying to put on to fool me, so I won't see that it's really her, or if that's in fact her or not. I, you know, it's hard to really discern and tell. Now going back to the, um, I saw that she, the Patty Labelle had like a picture of me going back to when I was a small child and it seemed like she had been putting some shit on me for years because people can see when you coming up in the astral realm a lot of you know like my best friend was telling me that he saw uh Nick Cannon astral projecting and using like a special set of glasses to astral project and spy on people and see what people are doing that's what, how them celebrities are able to see who's going to come up and who's a threat to them to their little new world order system and all that shit that's how they do things now the reason behind why I'm doing this YouTube video today is because I want to talk about let me try to think um, of what it is that I want to talk about okay yes this is what I want to talk about I know I had like 16 min 6 minutes so 16 six minutes look at that flower is over there that's an actual no that's just a lead but anyways let me talk about what happens to people when they get sacrificed now there's different parts of the astral where a soul can get sent to and when they get sent to that part that point unless they have a powerful shaman or an ancestor which is what i'm preparing to become to rescue them and help them on the other side they're fucked now i didn't realize this at the time but a while back i was witnessing in the astral via an astral projection experience and all a young girl young hispanic lady at that it's kind of dead in that fucking thing <laughs> i want to talk about me and shit a little young hispanic girl who, um, damn, I look different when I, I don't know if y'all saw that shit, if y'all caught on. There was a young Hispanic girl who I caught in the astral was made some type of sacrifice. It had to be. So I recall, and, and I was not thinking about this man at all when I, when I saw him in it. I recalled Dennis Leary either showing me what happened to her you know or luring her to this place see that's why i say a lot of these celebrities they do dirty shit to get to where the fuck they are so i remember the girl was wearing a walmart vest and she was a fat pudgy you know hispanic girl she was dark she was a dark complexion one look more indian fortunately in their culture they get put down it's it, it's fucked up you know it's very fucked up that's a racist ass culture and the ones that be at the top so-called materially are the fucking white ones that, Shit, this, this whole, I mean, this white supremacy shit and all the motherfuckers with, remember the rednecks were trying to talk, talk about, oh, you got the soul of a white girl. And she just, oh, that be one of y'all motherfuckers. No, I don't, bitch. Stupid. You can't fuck a boo me. You can't gaslight me. I'm a woman of melanin. I know I've had different lives where it was different races, but I know I'm in this body right now. So, you know, totally conform to shit, but because I transcended my soul's too powerful for that it's bigger now anyways with that said they had this Hispanic girl who was getting ready to be put through this type of this torturous like it was kind of like what you see in TV series where they have you go through various obstacle courses but it was hellish it was very fucking hellish what I saw they had a bunch of, we had to meet, okay, Dennis Leary brought the girl, or, or me, he had me accompany him, to see the girl through, go through a warehouse. So they opened up the warehouse door, and there were, at the front, a bunch of satanic looking, 
demonic, you know, like them little, not got kids per se, but kind of like them little satanic, because there's a difference. Them type of little kids, they, they, they got the spiky hair, you know, like what you saw back in the 90s, and I keep hearing this fucking voice. I've heard that motherfucker at the ocean before talking shit. It's, it's, I don't know who the fuck, I don't know if it's a real person or, but I will be, especially if I'm drunk, I will really be hearing this motherfucker. But anyways, getting back to what I was saying, the Hispanic girl goes into the thing, right? So, she's greeted by those satanic looking kids, along with a bunch of other people who are due to go through that obstacle course as well. And so... They open up the door, and then the first one, they have to evade all of these store employees at a department store who are trying to kill them. And they look like cardboard cutouts. Now, I've seen both in real time in the third dimension, as well as when I've astral projected, these cardboard cutout looking entities. I think there's some type of demon. They look like cardboard cutouts. But it seemed like, okay, from what I saw with this girl, they had these entities that were following her, you know, like they had one guy in a security suit, you know, like with, with UC saying, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to rape you, and, 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 and he didn't have any emotion, he, he looked like a cardboard cutout saying this shit, no blinking of the eyes, none of that, just, just my movement. and so that's when she takes off and flees, and a bunch of those entities start following in tow, trying to kill her as well. Then there's a second obstacle course that seems to be conducted in the real world where they have a giant bald-headed man who surfaces in this river, this water, and chases all of the combatants, or rather, you know, the really combatants, but contestants, quote-unquote contestants. And he has a big head in this astral version, chasing them and devouring them. Now I can see that over here on the other side, he's manipulating that over there with a voodoo doll. So it's a person over here who's doing it with a voodoo doll. It was a big bald headed white dude. Then the third, I don't remember a third. I swear there was a third, but I don't remember. When they make it out, I saw a bunch of people outside of it, including a young Hispanic lady who runs this Santa Muerte shop, who had a pleasant, she had a pleasant aura around her. I didn't see anything or feel anything negative. She looked, I think her aura was yellow at the time when I saw it, and she released this yellow canary bird. And she was looking up, and she had a lot of life in her. And... My friend posited, my friend, he can see, but I don't think that he's really that good at the gift of discernment. Because see, when you open up your third eye too much, you know, like in his case, his third eye is way too open. It kind of creates an imbalance and, you know, you see shit, but you don't have that discernment, that intuitive discernment, that having your crown chakra opens you up to heaven. So I saw her release the yellow canary into the sky and the first sense that came to my mind was that she was trying to rescue maybe perhaps rescue the young girl and help her out and I just saw a little purple thing in my hand just now because both you know we're crying and my third eye is open maybe I got like a few more things to work on but that poor child I don't know if she's still alive or not the little fat Hispanic girl has a hellish ass afterlife to look up to. I mean, look forward to. See, people be thinking this shit is a motherfucking game. It ain't no motherfucking joke. At the end of the day, when you get picked up to become a sacrifice, that's your happy ass. And again, like in the case of Christopher Case, who after a week lost his life, if something coming for your ass, you fucked.